blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Manchester United 2, Manchester City 1. Manchester is red and what a result that was. But before we even get into the breakdown, how about some question of the day, people? And listen, I'm going to get straight to it, ladies and gentlemen. Manchester United have had a lot of joy at Sellers Park in recent seasons. What was the scoreline of the last victory we had there? And bonus points for adding the players who scored. All right, then let's get into the game because I know you wonderful people don't have all day. So, happy first off, you saw the game plan, mm. how we approach things, and it worked. We tried to stifle City in deep wide areas. And when there were openings to pinch the ball back, we did that. Caused some real problems. The only negative I had at the end of the half was that we didn't take one of our many counter-attacking opportunities. City looked vulnerable every single time they lost it. The ball over the top was on, through the middle as well, and if we had some better finishing, it may have been an even better result. Another thing was to stay weary of the spaces that were opening up in central areas for Manchester City as the likes of De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva were driving into already occupying and receiving the ball in those areas. So the second half comes and Martial was subbed off for Anthony. Eric Ten Hag after the game also said that AM9 had some complaints so I guess he's been dealing with some niggling injuries. Red Horses going to be a welcome addition for reasons just like this ladies and gents as the half went on however you could see the tempo and energy of united decreasing city pushed our back line further and further back until we got punished kevin de bruyne found space to run into our area and casemiro tries to cover but gets beaten ever so slightly kdb finds the space to clip it into a dangerous area and a substitute Jack Grealish runs onto the ball and heads it in the back of the net. Could have been down here from here on out. I'm not going to lie. I felt deflated for a good few minutes after we conceded seeing. I, I didn't think we deserved to go out that way. Like imagine if we didn't score the two goals and we just conceded that one goal that I don't even think they fully deserve to get those three points. And I, 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 I would have been so disappointed. But listen, I was begging for a response. And I'll tell you what, it may have taken a little time, but the crowd were crucial to this. Big up to everyone in OT. Max. Small momentum plays to ride up the crowd and the players used it to their advantage. Wambisaka gets out of a tight area. Shout out to Wambisaka, by the way. Plays it to Casemiro, who spots Marcus Rashford running through and plays the ball. Only problem was that Rashi was offside, but one man wasn't, Bruno Fernandes. There was a bit of controversy regarding the goal, but at the time it was explained that because Rashford didn't show any intent of playing the ball or stopping an opposition player from doing so, the goal stood. And that was good communication by Bruno and Marcus Rashford to quickly adapt. A term we know so much is fine margins. And I know, I know. But today, it worked in our favour. Things only got better. Once again, hurting this City team in the worst possible way. Bruno Fernandes unleashes the substitute Alejandro Garnacho, who glides and eventually gets his cross blocked. Only to receive it once again. Swiftly turn away from Nathan Ake and create the space needed to play that ball across the face of the goal. And guess who was there? Mr. Nine goes in a row at home. Derby winner making the opposition moan. MBE. Everything after that was a blur. The stage was electrifying. Ladies and gentlemen, put your fingers together. It's time to click. Roll the clip. Question of the day. That was me. Shut up. Manchester United have had a lot of joy at Sellers Park in recent seasons. What was the scoreline of the last victory we had there? And bonus points for adding the players who scored. 
like on a bit, subscribe to the channel, you'll be respect the tweet Now back to the video, answer the thing and hop in the chat Don't question for the time. Question time! Question time! So, how did you fare in this episode's question of the day? See, I got it right this time, and it's him But anyway, ladies and gentlemen on the 16th of July 2020 was the last time United won at Sellers Park. The scoreline was 2-0 and the goal scorers were Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial. If you got it correct, slap a one in the chat. If you use Google and please don't be afraid to say it, slap a two in the chat. But one thing you should be afraid to say is that you didn't even care to bother. If it was the third option, slap a free in the chat. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for reaching the end of the video. Yeah. Much love to all the 22s in the chat that have been in the watch alongs, that have been in the comments of these United Twins episodes. Best believe mm. we'll be back for a Crystal Palace review. Ladies and gents, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, share to your friends and frenemies, and until the next time, we'll see you lot sooner! Hold up, you thought I forgot? Nah, 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 listen, in the week I did a little thing I put out on Twitter and also the community tab on YouTube, get active on that, where I said best caption wins a little shout on the united teams but really i got a shout out the whole community man notable names in there Ferbs, shout out to cwg Manj, rich jonah as well free drizzy by the way free drizzy because they locked him up over on twitter it's not nice over there but big up to super nick as well phil everybody who took part in that one this week man so blessings everybody back to the outro uh